Hey, it's Mark. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can create a dot plot chart in Tableau. And the dot plot can be a nice alternative to the clustered bar chart, which can also be used for this type of data in this structure, which you're going to be looking at today. And what this clustered bar chart allows us to do is compare data across two different categories at different levels in the hierarchy. So at one level in the hierarchy, we have the chain or the outlet, which is selling the different coffees. And then we have the type of coffee, which is labels as product in this visualization. And these bar charts do work very well. They're obviously one of the best types of visualizations you can use. And they easily allow you to compare the values across the different outlets for one particular product. However, comparing values for the same outlet across products is slightly more difficult. So for example, to compare the three Greg's values, the three blue bars, my eye needs to scan over all of the other bars in between, which can be a little bit distracting. And a dot plot can make this a little bit easier. And obviously this will depend on your particular values and use case, but it's definitely a good chart type to know about. So this is the dot plot and we're comparing exactly the same data here. And you can see I can easily compare across these values for one particular product, but can also easily compare down across the different products as well. So if I want to compare, for example, at Starbucks, it's quite easy. There's nothing in the way, there's no other bars to scan over. I can easily see those three dots. Okay, so let's create this chart now. So to start off with, we're going to bring out product. Okay, and then I'm going to bring out caffeine onto columns. And that gives us a bar chart to start with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is change the mark type to a circle. So we have three circles now. It's going to make this a little bit taller as well. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is split these circles into the different chains. So I'm going to bring out chain, put that onto color. And now you can see we start to have the beginnings of the dot plot. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create the lines that go between the different dots within the product categories. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate the measure on the column shelf. I'm just going to click, hold down the control key, drag that over and have a second pill. And I'm just going to change the aggregation on this pill to be the minimum. And then what I can do is remove the color dimension. So at the moment, this is being split out as it is here. But for this one, we don't need it to be split out into all of the different values, so all of the different chains. I just want the minimum. So to do that, I'm going to remove the dimension chain from the color shelf. And now I just have circles representing the minimum values. And just to make that a bit clearer, if I click show mark labels, you'll see I have 33 here. That matches the 33 here. 102 is this 102 and 66 is that one there as well. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate this pill now, and then I'm going to change this to be the maximum. Okay, so I've got the minimum maximum, and I want these to be within the same axes. So to do that, I'm going to pick up the maximum pill. I'm going to drop it down here um, to make a combined axis chart. You now see I just have two pills. One is the single measure, and one is the measure values, and they appear down here. Okay, the next thing I need to do is turn these into a line. So we click on the mark type for the measure value shelf, and select line. You see how I get these lines. So currently the lines are connecting all the minimum values and all the maximum values. But instead I want them to connect across. And to do that what I can do is pick up the measure names pill and drop that onto the path. And now the lines are connecting from the minimum value to the maximum value. So the next thing to do is have the lines overlap on the circles so it will connect these dots. And to do that we can create a dual axis. So we can do that as we saw before. You can drag this down here and it will create a dual axis that way. I'll just undo that. Or you can click on the drop down and select the dual axis here. Okay, now you can see that the lines are on top of the circles, which is not what I want. So to change that, you can right click on the axis, select move marks to back, and now those lines are behind. Now you can tell that these axes are not 100% aligned because there's a small part of the line, the gray line, is just peering past the circle in the top right. So to align them, I can right click on the axis and select synchronize axis. And you see that adjustment takes place and these are now exactly aligned. Okay, I've just done some basic formatting and added some labels. Now you can see that because of the size of the labels and where they're positioned and where the dots are positioned, we're not seeing labels for every um, mark for every circle. Now we could force that by clicking on the label shelf and clicking allow labels overlap, but this doesn't look great. So I'm going to turn that off. But what I do want to do is actually show the label for the minimum and the maximum for each of these set of dots. Um, so this is showing here and here, which is great, but this one is not. So the way you can get around that is to right click on this label and go to mark label and never show. And that will turn off the label for that one. And with that extra space now, the label for this one is showing. Okay, so to complete this visualization, I brought the one sheet into a dashboard. And then I added a visual on the right hand side. You can see that image. It's quite nice. I was fortunate to find a graphic that had three cups of coffee on, which I lined up quite well with the data that I have here. Looking at the three coffee products. 
then added some text in the bottom of the dashboard to show the source of the data and the project that it's for, which is for Maker Monday. And then just added a link to the image as well. So if anyone wants to use the image, they can just hover over where it says unsplash and then click and that link will take them to the image. Okay, so I'll add a link to this dashboard in the description below. You can go ahead and interact with or download the dashboard from my Tablet public page and have a closer look if you like. And I hope this has been really useful for a little bit more about how you can make dot plots in Tableau. All right, thanks for watching.